today we're going to do some work with the lasso tool and then see how we can use that to make things disappear. So this is a nice family photo, but you'll notice there's an unwelcome guest on the corner here. What if we could get rid of him? Well, we can. Ta da This is what we're going to be doing today. Okay, so to start off, we want to select him. Now to do that, we're going to need to use the lasso tool. So you can find the lasso tool up here. So you can click on there, make sure you are not choosing these other, other two, we want just the lasso tool. Okay, great, so we have the lasso tool selected, you can see our mouse here has changed. And now we're gonna draw an outline. To be very careful to make sure we get all of him. So click once, left click once, and then start dragging your mouse around the shape of his body. All right. So you don't have to be exact, but it pays to go as close as possible. Okay. I have very poor control, so I can't go that close. All right, so if you want to draw a straight line down the edge, just put your mouse outside the boundary of the photo. There you go. And then we're down to the bottom and you can join it up. And ta-da, we have a selection. Great, so don't click anything yet. We're going to move up to the top. I'm going to go to the Edit menu. Click on the Edit menu. And we're going to go down until we find Fill. Click on Fill. Great. And here in the fill menu, you notice there's a content aware thing selected. Make sure that it's selected, it's very important. And everything opacity mode normal. Okay, great. Content aware and click OK. And Photoshop will do the rest. Isn't that great? Now we have a nice photo on the beach. So as a challenge, you can do other things. For example, you could draw a lasso around the hat here on the beach. Great, that's good practice. And then same again, go to edit, go down to fill and content aware and bam there you go hat's gone too you can do the same with the boat if you wanted to as well all right well i uh, hope you guys have some fun if you ever get photo bombed now you know what to do